stuff stats. Spenders 5-0 versus the Roughnecks 4-1. First quarter, Roughnecks come out scoring early with your boy Georgie Porgy has no hair on his balls Porgy I shaved the dog and glued the hair to my nut sack so I look like a grown man scores the TD fourth TD of the season second most to XFL and dead to rights last in the NFL but who gives a shit DC gets the ball back in the red zone and red roughnecks D get a pass interference call placing the defenders at the one what are you doing then defenders get a chop block flag. I didn't even know that was a real thing. And get 15 yards pushing them back to the 16-yard line. That's that dumb shit right there. Third and goal, incomplete pass because the Roughnecks got that thug like defense, baby. So defenders said, fuck it, I'm going to go for it. Get the field goal, score 8-3 Houston up. Wow. Second quarter, quick four now for Houston, and DC has the ball, throws a few, and get nowhere. Then Houston snags an illegal contact flag. Real shit, I didn't see him get touched at all. Automatic first down, but then the play goes under review, and the magic eyes in the sky say, keep the flag. Ouch. No challenge from Houston, and they could have did it, but no score. So from D.C., after all of that, because the kicker missed the 37-yard field goal, get the fuck out, you're fired. <sighs> Same score. I went to walk the dog, and I came back, and D.C. scored. So I missed that shit. Scored 9-8, D.C. up. <laughs> Question, do you think the XFL DC defenders can defeat the NFL Washington Commanders? Leave your comments below, let me know what you think. Roughnecks then throw an interception and DC scores again. God, score 15-8, two point conversion, no go. DC, oh wait a minute, no, DC gets that shit, <laughs> my bad. <laughs> Just remember, DC actually gets the two-point conversion because they missed so many later on. From number zero, who's the hero, scores 17-8. Houston trying to make something happen and gets bulldozed with a sack. Ouch. Second and 19. And Terry, the silver silver, gets sacked again. It's fucking third and 99. <laughs> And then, that's the end of the first half. Roughnecks go into the locker room and take some advice from the beer snake. Because you suck. You suck. In the comments below, let us know what you thought about the game. To be the XFL MVP of Sarita's Fucked Up Stats, make sure you like and subscribe. And stick around to the end for a chance to win an only built for wrestling rinks t-shirt, baby. Third quarter, DC starts off with a rocket down the field to Poetic Justice Lucky Jackson. Word on the street is he has a clover tattoo on his dick. <laughs> anyway, gain of 50 yards, give or take. Before you know it, they are in the red zone, but on second and goal, personal foul from 96, he gives someone a low blow like boxing. So they get an automatic four downs and he gets kicked out the game. Get out, you're fired. Fresh set of downs on the three yard line and then Roughnecks get a pass interference call. Damn, what are you doing? Another four downs on the one yard line. Now, finally they get a TD after getting a total of 36 free first downs. Damn y'all, no extra points, score 23-8. Side note, the beer snake, AKA the germ-filled anaconda is almost out at the top of the bleachers. Anyway. Quick four and out for Houston. DC gets the ball back, and guess what? Houston gets another one. Another one. Another pass interference call. Damn, y'all, you suck. Puts DC in good field position to score again. Houston number three gets a flag from the sideline. <laughs> like, seriously, from the sideline? This fucking guy squirts a damn water bottle at somebody. I don't know who, I don't know how. And only one referee saw the shit. 15 yards and an automatic first down. Apparently somebody pushed him and he squirted him with water like the Spider-Man. Poor babies, you were better off fighting or do like the other player did and bite him in the nuts. Anyway, Houston defense are just going off, sacking the soul out of Ta'amu and just taking shots whenever they can without being caught. Roughnecks living up to their name, baby. DC scores a field goal score, now 26-8, DC up. 
Houston comes back with a vengeance and scores an 85-yard touchdown with number one Burnett in this bitch. Seriously, his name is Deontay in this bitch Burnett. And they go for three, which I absolutely love, but it's a no-go. Score 26-14. Side note, Burnett did the five heartbeats move at the end of the play, and I love it. <laughs> Gotta love it. Thank God. Fourth quarter. Whew, I'm almost done. DC has the ball, and the play was called Squirrel 9. So DC scores again with a two point attempt and gets that shit. Score 34 14. Ouch. I think I might try that Squirrel 9 when I'm stuck in traffic. Anyway, Houston making magic happen with floor, four plays, gets TD by none other than Georgie Porgy Borgy. Go for the two this time and a no go. Score 34 20. DC up. DC comes back back and settles for a field goal from the 50. Score now 37-20. Ah, Roughnecks back at it, hustling up the field. QB Old McDonald had a farm field with first downs. Make it to the first or the one and gets a TD. Goes for three again, baby. That's what I'm talking about. No fear. You ain't never scared. They don't do it. They don't get that shit. <laughs> Couldn't convert at all. DC football with a minute and 40 on the clock. DC runs the clock out and they are 6-0. Final score 37-26. Roughnecks, it'll be all right. I praise your bravery. To win an Only Built for Wrestling Rings t-shirt, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the link in the description. At the end of April, we will have a drawing to determine the winner. Peace.